Okay, I'm doing an in-depth video on the Volin biota because I really think it's really interesting and I've read the study like four or six times now, so let's go over it. <clears throat> All right, study up here. Okay, so the first bit of this, and I got my tandy dandy notes, is this stuff is from the Ukraine. It's a very specific Kraton. It's the Kurosten Pluton, okay? It's about 1.5 billion years old. And a lot of this was all found in granitic peg pegmites pegmatites, okay, which just means they're igneous rocks that are really chunky. They have lots of chunks in them. Um, and interestingly enough, there's a very specific mineral in this mine called kyrite. Um, the first bit was that, that whatever that is, is been a contentious issue of debate. The current going theory is that it is remnants of biogenetic cyanobacteria mats. Okay, but it is black. It's like a lot of little filaments put together, kind of like like thin magnet magnets. You know how sometimes there's magnets in like hourglass or something that are like cut really thin and they it's that. Okay, it's really stringy black rock. It's light. It's like a 2.5 on the most scale, so it's similar to talc, but it's a really sooty material. Okay. Oh, picture. Okay. The fossilization process happened deep in ground in the biosphere it was a result of a quick flooding hydrothermic geyser type event it was fluorine rich waters and it silified or glassed the outermost casing of a lot of these fossils or these organisms the filaments or straight line fossils range from teeny tiny to teeny tiny, basically. This is the rock that they looked at. Okay, so the filaments on this rock, and the, the, that's what they describe them as. So they're just straight little strings. Okay, well, not straight. Some of them, they can be straight, cone-like, curvy, with like a 3D shape kind of thing. Um... And a lot of them have this weird bulbous, like, round outgrowth. Um, some of them, the, and that's a whole, that's a good chunk of this paper, is talking about those little outgrowth, little bulbs. The ends of these filaments basically show both sessile and non-sessile organisms, so some organisms that stick to the substrate and rock and others that don't stick and are free floating or moving um in between all that these fossils is the biofilm and these are the flaky clumped filaments they think this is remnants of a map whether it's cyanobacterial or microbial it's a mat of some kind um there was a limited spirit, spirit, spiritual objects, and like there's really only two, okay. Um, so I'll put those pictures. Actually, circle picture or bulb picture. Big thing is when they did infrared spectro spectroscopy. Ugh. It indicated a lot of chitosan, which is why they're leaning towards fungus, okay? Um, the other thing is they found three minerals 
okay? Or elements, elements, elements. Um, what were they? Bismuth, bismuth, tellurium, and sulfur. And there was a slew combination of that. And there were like, wait a minute, hold on, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, seventeen different minerals that can be made from bismuth, tellurium, tellurium, and sulfur. Okay, so any one of those could have caused this or are what's indicative of this rock. Um, they did find stable carbon isotopes and it was either carbon 12 or 13. This study leans more towards 13. They did find nitrogen 15, indicating possible methogen surface of the micro ecosystem. Um, and there were multiple studies before this study. There was a study in 1987, 1992, 2000, and 2003. And the first two studies leaned towards a non-organic origin. The next two interpreted as cyanobacteria fossils from a geyser type deposit. And basically, again, the fossilization, which is really unique, occurred because there was this hot flux of water from a geyser or something like that, or hydrothermal system. It basically encased everything in silica. Um, and then, because there's a lot of clay around it, sealed it, okay? Um, age was actually due to the BRCA rock around it and a brown opal there's some aging they did of that and some muscovite um and the age really comes from the opal i guess the opal and the water really nailed down the the date um there's a lot of branching in either y's t's or double t shapes they interpret the balls at the end of these branchings as areas of new growth they do believe that a lot of these little filaments are part of larger filaments that broke off, okay? There is also an asymmetrical coating due to the fossilization process. And there is like two, three hollow pieces that they think they were hollowed because of the d decay, okay? So they don't think that that hollow part was actually supposed to be hollow. Um, there are some sheets seen on some of them. And very specifically, there's a picture here that the arrow indicates the sheet over here or up here. Um, all of this points to fungus of some kind. They don't know what type. They don't really understand that much more of it. Again, earlier interpretations said this was non-organic. Then secondary interpretations because of the minerals around lent to a cyanobacterial mat or a microbial mat. But now, a lot of these fossils are being interpreted as fungus, mostly because of the chitosan. So, there you go. There's the major points of this study. What else? Is there anything else I missed? Hold on. Oh, there's this, uh, with the circle, there's this weird oval-shaped object that's really cool. They don't know what that is. Um, they just know that it's etched on the surface of the barrel which is the mineral. So there's, most of these are the filaments. Oh, and there's this weird grouping of filaments. Okay, that's a cyanobacteria fossilization, they think. Again, this is all interpretation and what they lean towards. So, yeah, that's kind of neat.